Pig Egypt Gmail. Hey, hey, it's your boy. What's happening? PNG KVG Kumal here with another video, and we are going to do a review of round one of NRL 2020. Um, let's get straight into it. Let's see what happened on the weekend, guys. I hope um, your team, whoever they might be in PNG, whoever you go for, whoever you support, I hope they had a good result in round one. Let us have a look what happened this weekend. 2020 underway. Oh, I remember when I saw this, I thought Ferguson had done a miracle here. I mean, he's pushed off four players to put the ball down, but his foot just touches the line, inches. Look at that. Look at that strength. So unlucky. Look at that. Look, look at that strength again. It's four players. Four players into touch. <laughs> Eels 8, Bulldogs 2. Hit a like on the video if you're an Eels fan. Congratulations, you guys. One, one, one. No matter of celebrating. This guy's an absolute beast. What an absolute beast. Unstoppable. 2020. Why Ted who has number two? Gold Coast got smashed, boy. Um, any Gold Coast fans? Looks like. No matter what happens in relation to coronavirus, you guys are going to struggle this season again. Gold Coast fans, sorry. Uh, good win by the Green Machine. How cool is that? JT opened up the new stadium. Um, in case you guys don't know, I'm actually... Cowboys fan, and yes, I know they lost to Brisbane. Good on you, Brisbane, and all your Broncos fans in PNG. I think you deserve to win the game. Um, Guess who's back? Back again. Boost! Vita. Brisbane Broncos fans, Papua New Guinea, I know there must be a heap of you out there. Comment, like the video, let me know if you watch the game on the weekend, and uh, how you rate your team's chances this year, with or without coronavirus. Gee, I keep talking about coronavirus, but um, yeah, it carries on the way it's going, we're not going to have much rugby league left this year. Speed got away from Harris. How good was Cameron Ponga playing fullback? Did uh, anyone watch this game? Newcastle Knights, the poor Warriors, they can even score a try. Putting the foot down. Oh, yes! 
there's any young kids in PNG that uh, want to become rugby league stars, look at this for a finish in the corner. Look at this, people. Look at this. I mean, he's he's flying. He's flying. He may as well have wings. It's the kick. They're gonna score. So unlucky for the Sharks. Forward pass with one minute and 24 seconds in the clock. Otherwise, that would have been the game for the Sharks. Rabbitohs held on to win. Yeah, it's just forward, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely forward. Tau survived, but what a scare they were given by the Sharks. Comment below, any Rabbitohs fans in PNG, any Sharks fans in PNG, when are we going to see a Dean Gebby, um, Edine Gebby breaking through? Um, he's got a lot of hard work ahead of him. I was watching an art, uh, reading an article the other day about how um, how hard the step up has been for him, but he's um, looks like he's coping. He just needs to work hard and uh, bide his time, just like Olin did at the Storm. Well, they're trying to get left here. Mansour, what a kick! What, what a kick. Commentator was spot on. What a kick. Watch this. This is a hard skill to do, people. You're running down the left wing. Corey made it up. Great hit. You're running at speed. You've got three defenders trying to get back to you. You've got a defender ahead of you. He sums it up perfectly. Look at him looking over to the other side towards the goalpost. And look at this for technique. Ball, Kevin defenders! I mean, that's outside of the foot. Kick with the rugby ball. And so, what a kick! What a bounce! What a try! You've got some skills, boy. They set up on the left. Off lead. Kick out! Panthers 20, Roosters 14. Who saw that one coming? When Premiers lose um, in round one. They started the game very strongly, but um, Panthers came back and um, actually just got to win. Yeah. Storm Seagulls, Justin Olam. How did Justin Olam do in this game? How did he do? Um, he did okay. He did okay. He didn't do great, he did okay. Um, he had a, an average game, I think, by his high standards. I think there was better performers out there, but it's a really, really high standard. And there was, um, was 60, 60 minutes and 44 seconds until the first try. minutes for the first try of the game. Um, it was a real arm wrestle, a real closely matched game and, and defensively both sides are very strong um, up until the 60th minute. Never come a lot of... Uh, now look at this. Big high bomb. Josh Addo cars underneath it. Reissues. Kicks it with his right foot. Defeat. Rebounds off the Manly player. The NRL that kicks it. car follows through, kicks it again. And no man's left. Scoops up into the number 10 for the Melbourne Storm. And it's towed in. Gives it to their number 7, and history repeats itself. And it's bounced back off Tommy Turbo. He's about to repeat itself. No. Quick play the ball though for what? He's very good. And Benji Marshall. Any West Tigers fans out there? Let me know, let me know, let me know. West Tigers fans, where are you? In PNG. Uh, Benji Marshall, man, he's made a massive resurgence. He was great in this game. Um, rolling back the years, as the commentator said. Um, it was like the young Benji again, the young Benji Marshall, just tearing it up. Watch this. Benji Marshall!
you guys see this trial, when I saw this in real time, I couldn't understand how they made this, their decision. But I suppose if you watch it back, let's watch it back together. Watch this. Controversial. Who'd be a touch judge, eh? Who'd be one of these video referees? Not me. West Tigers 24, Dragons 14. Any Dragons fans? How do you think your side are going to go this year? Who knows how any side are going to go this year with coronavirus? Hey, don't go yet. You might be wondering. I forgot to talk about Justin Olam. I didn't forget about talking about Justin Olam. I wanted to talk about him towards the end. All right, so as I said in the main bulk of the highlights, not the best of games for Justin Olam, and I will justify what I mean by that, okay? Um, let's have a look at which players were the mo uh, made the most tackles in that game. Cameron Smith made 35 for the Melbourne Storm. Jack Dubrovich for the Mountie Seagulls made 49. Guess who won the most metres? It wasn't just Nolan, it was Tui Kamikamika. 194 metres in that game. And if you bear with me, I will tell you how many metres Justin Nolan ran in that game right now. And just so you know, these are the official NRL stats that I got on my phone. ZeroTackle.com. Uh, so Justin, you managed 98 meters in that game. Right, so respectable, respectable. Um, but as I said, Kamikamika uh, ran 194 meters. Um, and Justin Olam defensively was good. All right, he made 10 tackles, made one missed tackle, uh, two errors, um, and made 13 runs. Okay. Uh, now the highest runs in that game were 26, so about half, half the top um, number of runs in that game. So look, a decent start for Justin Nolan. Um, let's just hope that the season goes long enough for him to make more improvements um, and look forward to seeing him in round two. Stay tuned guys for more videos and as ever PNG, stay blessed. This is your boy KVG Kummel and uh, make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends um, if you enjoy these videos. Peace. KVG Fumil.